Where are we going? We're going to NYC. This is my luggage. They, uh, Maybelline sent a baby pink base, which is so cute. And then I use my Weekender, the small one, because the big one is just too gigantic. We got coffee. Look how they spelled my name. We are with... Nike. Nike. Oh, the focus on this camera is not good. We got vanilla lattes. Yeah, we did. I'm just trying to find my AirPods. Don't worry, guys. I brought my baton. <laughs> Now I'm swimming. These are my AirPods. Um, they're actually the Beats. These are better than the AirPods because they don't, they don't, I don't lose them. I forgot to put my watch on this morning. We're just waiting to board the plane. The one thing I don't like about this base luggage is that they always make me check it. It's like too big for most planes, unless you're going overseas. And like, if I'm traveling with the camera on, it's because I don't want to wait for a check luggage. This is what is packed in my liquids case. Plumper, we got the vanilla musk oil, Tainoir, I brought the rose one. This is a good case though from Bayes, fits a lot. So this is the room, I'll give you a little tour. We have some Maybelline stuff over here. And this is a beautiful room, we love this hotel. And look at this cute table that they had set up with some flowers and some candy we'll have to dig into and then all different mascaras i can never have enough mascara i am so impressed i honestly it feels like a dream and then look at this cute little t-shirt that they had custom made i've actually seen these all over like this style of t-shirt and it's just so adorable this is the perfect sleeping shirt so we're gonna head out get a coffee i might want to put like my scarf on like it's a little bit cold outside i'm gonna meet up with jenna you guys know jenna have some lunch explore the city we're right in what area are we like lower east, lower east side the lower east side we're gonna probably go to soho today shop around we have until our dinner we have to meet at 6 45 so we have a lot of time like we don't have to be back here at three we can be no we like... don't have to because i thought we had to i thought we were gonna only be able to check in at three yeah me too but our room, is Our ready. room is ready early. Definitely need coffee. I have this weird thing going on in my nose. It feels like I have, like, it's so sensitive to touch. And it's on, like, the inside of my nose. And I keep touching. It looks like I'm picking my nose. I'm not picking my nose. It's just, it feels, like, very painful. But we're going to persevere. Ooh, I want this one. This... I, okay, okay. Let's try this one. Ooh. Oh, like, this one is a heart. It's a heart. Mmm. What is Rue Bouban? Mmm. This one looks like a bean. Mmm. It's chewy. Can your teeth get through that? I want to try this one. What are those beans? Like a lima bean? This is a bean. Oh, I don't want the sound that made. <laughs> it was squished, like juicing inside. What is that? What does it taste like? It's a bit spicy. But it's good. It tastes like a spicy margarita. It's good. I see something fun down there. Mmm. A gummy bear. <laughs> Ooh. They're all really cute on my teeth. It's gonna rip my crown out of my nail. Look, they sent us these ones. No, no, don't recommend. I like. No, this. they're good, but you didn't even try it, you liar. <laughs> you literally didn't even try it. You got like a spit and you spat it out. Do you like that one? It's my favorite. We just had sweet green. I forgot to vlog it, but I'll put a picture in right there. It is so good. Um, and now we're gonna go to rebag. I want to go look at a bag. We are going to go look at a bunch of bags for fun. And rebag the real real. What goes around comes what goes around. around. And what's that store you said you want to go to? Kip? No, win, win something. Which one? Something with a W. The, oh, Webster. The Webster. And then also there's an Abercrombie and everything. So we're going to hit that up. A new one. We started the journey at Rebag. They didn't have anything that interested me, so we went over to the Real Real. They had these Kate jeans, which were so weird. These both were in the same size. One could not go up past my leg. The other was fit. Like, it was so big on me. These boots were really nice. So I didn't end up getting anything because, honestly, everything was so expensive. Then we went to Mango, picked up this coat you'll see in a sec, and then we hit up Abercrombie, which I was honestly very unimpressed by. Here, yeah, you pooped? I'm pooped. Did you have a successful day? Had a great day. I'm trying to find something for you guys to balance on. All right, so we just got back from our little gallivanting around New York. We get something with Mango and Sephora, so I thought I could show you guys that later. But we have very important business to get to, which is 
trying. Well, Nikki's tried them, but I've never tried the Baked by Melissa cupcakes. We had sweet green. Um, I think I mentioned that. I didn't do a good job at filming today. But we went to a bunch of like pre-love stores. Uh, we went to Rebag. Then we went to um, The Real Real. They had Kate jeans. Um, but the 26 fit like it was a 22. Uh, I couldn't squeeze even my left tush cheek in there. <laughs> but we did get these cupcakes. It's a little bit of a sweet treat. I will want a nice chocolate chip cookie before we go though. We are going to have to get a chocolate chip cookie from Chip City. They come like in plastic which is a little weird. Because they so ship them. Oh. So they're not freshly baked. Is no, what they you're like do me. them every day, every morning. Mm. So you're telling me the same girl who makes that salad is making these cupcakes? Yeah. They look very cute. I like that they're so tiny because you get to have like bites of little each of them. So which one do you want to try first? This is what they look like. Let me show you. Nikki wanted to get six. I was like, are you crazy? We need twelve. This one is white chocolate. This one? No, next to it. This one? Yeah. That does not intrigue me. Okay, the that's the OG tie dye. Okay. I want to, I have to, oh my god, they're really mini. Yeah, they're mini. Mmm. <laughs> that exceeded my expectations. Really? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Red velvet doesn't really intrigue me. It doesn't intrigue you. I'm a bit intrigued by chocolate chip pancake. They're very moist and I know. wet. Mmm. 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 I give that 5 on 10. The pancake? What about the tie-dye? 7.25. Okay. This is cookies and cream. Oh, there's a filling in it. You're not into it? I love the filling. It's into my fingers. It's like a whipped cream. Yeah, you don't like whipped cream? I give that a 4. What about mint chocolate? You want me to try it first? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That one's amazing. That one I give an eight. I can order. It tastes like just pure peanut butter. It tastes like how Leo's dog bone smell. Okay, you have trauma from peanut butter flavor. I give this experience a four on ten. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. These were expensive. Yeah, they were 20 bucks. For these little I wouldn't even call it a bite brownie. Like No cupcake. Cup cupcake. I wouldn't call it a bite cupcake. They're so tiny, which is fine. But for $20, fine. The packaging, it looks like it came out of a vending machine. They've always been like that. Because that's how they stay, like, moist. Okay. 4.25 because this is a cute bag. <laughs> I don't remember there being a big fluffy blanket. Maybe because it's the winter. Oh. I got a Neosporin because we don't have this in Canada. Well, that's not why you got it. No, I have something in my nose that's really hurting me. We bought a cleanser because I didn't have a travel size one and some makeup wipes. I don't like using makeup wipes, but we're, we don't have a choice. Okay, we went to Sephora and I got, this has been sold out in Canada. Well, it's actually not sold out online, but every time I go to the store, it's sold out. It is the Fenty Lip Gloss in sweet mouth so pretty it's like a pinky nudie champagne -y color and i actually got this because i saw kensington is her name mm -hmm. she put this on with a deep taupe lip liner from anastasia which by the way they redid their sections really nice now um so i picked that up and then nikki said that this tinted moisturizer yummy skin is really good serum skin tint and when i put it on my hand it felt really nice so we're gonna test that out and now for what i'm really excited do for a specific coat and it's sold out sold out online but they had it in the store and i snagged it i had to get a medium originally i was going to get a size large because it's, they only had large or extra large but it's so freaking cute so i'm going to figure out a, a, um, a specific outfit for it because like i need to wear it yeah what's that brand totem I think it's a dupe for a totem coat and really it's really cute. soft the, the color of the fur is perfect it's like a grayish what do you say like a taupey beige button details are really nice and mm -hmm. so we saw large and extra large on the rack and then tony was eyeballing this employee who was, was restocking two of them. them and she's like what sizes do you think those are so we asked and she had a medium so you guys will see that styled i have to post something for work and then we're going to relax play some solitaire that's our new game. I taught Tony how to play solitaire. And then we're going, we have dinner. We have to meet, what time is it, Nick? 3.48. Oh, my God, we have to start getting ready soon. You need three hours? Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so this is what I'm wearing. It's a little um, set from Mango. That's this really cool material. It's like sweatsuity, but not sweatsuit. It's not like sweatsuit material. It's like wooly. Um, and then it has a matching skirt that's kind of like cargo, has pockets. And I have these black leather booties on. I have to pick my jewelry for the evening. My hair, oh, my hair is also just Dyson. I have our, some new CNC earrings on. Of course, I have our travel case. So I have these on, which are kind of like a hammered, um, earring i also have these rectangles or these um kind of shiny ones oh that could be cute i'm gonna put one in definitely though okay so we're going with the other earrings the ones i originally had on do i wear this version which is like sleeker or do i wear the hammered version what do you guys think sleek or not show me i think i like the sleek one. Oh, those are pretty the other ones are more sparkly, but it's totally up to you. They both look great. Dynamite top. I don't know. They're like so similar, but could give a com Honestly, I think these. I'm going to go with the sleek one. We're waiting in the lobby for everyone. We were the first one here. We were down here at 7, and then we got yelled at for taking pictures. We literally got yelled at for taking pictures. I was about to bust out the lights. He actually said you can take a picture, pictures with no professional camera, which is my vlogging camera, and no flash. So. And the hotel is pitch black. Well, you can't tell. Let me show you like a nice picture that we take. <laughs> Wait. Uh -uh. <laughs> like. Show me your eyeballs. Flash. No flash. Flash. No flash. But the flash is illegal at the public hotel. <laughs> you were flabbergasted. <laughs> this is, that was me when they said no flash. <laughs> we went for dinner at this cute little restaurant with all the girls. The food was so good and the drinks were even better. Just leaving for brunch and this is what I'm wearing. This is my new coat from Mango with the red sack set and a little pair of platform mini Uggs. <laughs> We both got Mediterranean breakfast. I got over medium. <laughs> um, Georgia also got a Mediterranean breakfast. <laughs> and what did Sydney get? We got nothing. So we're going to Mango and then we're going to the Let's Webster. Go Mango, and on the way to the Webster, we can go to all the consignment guys. stores. Yeah. On Broadway in Soho. <laughs> Do I get it? Do I get it? You need it. Walking on the, on the streets of Soho with Tony and Allegra. Taking some pics. Taking some pics and going to the Webster. I influenced her to buy the jacket. I I, guys, I literally, I bought her jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're actually free. I can't feel my feet, but it's fine. <laughs> we went to the Webster, which honestly, it was fine. It's nothing, fine. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Everyone's behind. And we're gonna try to find coffee and we're going to the Frankie Shop store, which I am severely excited about because you guys know my favorite blazers are the beauty blazers from Frankie Shop. It's also very freezing here which I was not prepared for, yeah. but it's okay. I'm just actually really warm. This, this coat, even though it's very thin, is pretty warm. And you got layers on. No, my mom made me put a lot of layers on. We stopped at, where are we, Nikki? Maybe we all go right. Oh, cute. Oh, I didn't even get your face. We're back at the hotel. I'll show you guys what I picked up from Frankie's shop. But we are having a little snack, because I don't think, I think there's just going to be little bites at the event tonight. So we're going to have, I got a little tuna cotto and a drink, and Nikki got a chicken wrap. I got a chicken Caesar wrap from the famous Len Witch. I'm gonna have to have a bite of that. Uh, mm, I'll think about it. <gasps> hey everyone, this is the Nikki cam, but I'm just reporting on the chicken Caesar wrap. And I could understand why it's so famous. It looks divine. I also got extra dressing. How's the tuna cotto? Amazing. It's always amazing. Mmm. Ooh, that crunch, yeah. We're checking out of the public hotel today and then we're gonna head over 
um, to her best friend house, best friend's house. She lives like a few blocks away, and we're gonna stay there for, until Sunday. Just got to Jenna's, and her apartment is so cute. I love this table. I think it's from CB2. It's just so pretty, and all of her little decor pieces are just perfect. This whole living room is such a vibe. I get so inspired. I want to like redecorate my whole living room, my whole house, whenever I come stay at her house or her parents' house. It's so cute. So I'm going to do a little bit of work. It's so snowy and blizzardy outside, and it's supposed to stop around 1. So we're going to do a little, stay here, do a little work, wait for it to stop, and then we're going to go have lunch at 12 chairs, I think at 2. Tony is in her obsessed with solitaire era. So anytime we have a minute of downtime, she needs to play at least five games of solitaire. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's I hate when this happens. You hate when it says there's no more. You've been losing a lot today. I'm a beginner. <laughs> you really are. How dare you say that? Well, tonight in bed we can play ten solitaire games. No, I don't like when Nikki looks over my shoulder because I could tell she's judging me. I'm never judging you, but I hate when you miss a really good move. So I have to say, oh, take a look. Take a look, one more look, because I'm a master at solitaire. So get your own app then. I like don't be playing my game. I like when me. we play together. I don't like it because you go ah, and then I feel like a dummy. We're what? heading out into a snow squall. Oh, I got a gift for you. What is that? <laughs> what is that, a hair clip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, like this? So you start by putting it up like this. And then you're supposed to like put it through. But like that's, I don't like that. It's a little bit constricting, but I think it's gonna be good. Why not just do this? Cause then the things don't move. I kind of have a little headache. Maybe it was the 10 margaritas I had last night. Hey guys, we just got back. Obviously we had to get some Magnolia Bakery. There's a new flavor in town of the month, the new flavor of the month, and I thought we could test it out together. Obviously, we had to get the banana pudding one, this one right here. We just got smalls. We're going for dinner in a little bit, so we don't want to spoil our appetite completely. Was my battery not charging that whole time? That's very rude. Let's try it quickly. Banana pudding. 10 on 10, always. Peanut butter pretzel. Hey guys, welcome home. I know you're probably thinking we were just in New York. How are we home with no update? Well, it turns out after I think the last couple you saw was me eating my magnolia pudding. And then after that, I just didn't check in. I was going to do this haul there, but honestly, like I was just too relaxed. I, it was such a nice, relaxing trip. The whole Maybelline experience was so amazing. All the girls were so incredibly nice, like so sweet, honestly so sweet. After that trip, I just turned into a vegetable and I was like, I'm not doing anything. I didn't pick up a vlog camera. I even, you guys, I did something so dumb. I have to tell you a story, but I just realized as I was going to vlog that I forgot the charger of this in my friend Jenna's apartment and I'm gonna have to get a new charger. But anyways, it seemed to be the trip of me forgetting everything because I forgot my wallet in the Uber on the way to the airport. I remember it vividly. I was going in my bag to get a lip balm out and I some for some reason took my wallet out and for some reason didn't put it back in. And after we went through security, after we went through everything, I we went to Shake Shack, obviously, and I went to pay and I did not have my wallet. And I was like, don't panic, don't panic. It's probably in your carry on and it was not I was like I I, rem I was thinking to myself like if I open my back my purse in the uber and didn't see a wallet I would be alarmed like I know I had it in the uber thankfully thankfully we had the nicest uber driver and he found it and brought it back to Jenna's apartment and gave it to her doorman and the doorman put it in her apartment I'm so freaking grateful but it's still been a headache like jenna was at sundance festival while we were while we were there and then she went to la so she's not going to get home for a, a few more days so i've had to go get new bank cards i'm like have an appointment to go get a new license tomorrow because i hate driving without a license on me but I don't know if I feel like doing that, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I forgot that and I forgot the charger. I was just like, I think I was too relaxed. I was like, I need to get it together. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I got some 
really good things. I got some makeup, some clothes, Frankie shop, these boots you guys are going to freak out over. So I thought I would do a little bit of haul with you guys. I didn't go overboard, but the shopping in New York is next level. Like literally, if I live there, I would be broke. You guys think I shop a lot now? Like just if I live there, it would be bad news. So I started, let's go in order. I think I did show you guys the mango coat already. I just want to give you an update. This is the best coat. I wore it the whole trip. I felt so chic. I just really, really loved it. It's it's like pretty warm. I layered my red sack set, which I basically wore the whole time. Like I don't know why I brought a whole carry-on. I just wore that red sack set. It was so comfy, so warm. Um, so I got this 10 on 10 recommend. And then the next day after we all went for lunch at Jack's Wife Frida, which was really good. I have to recreate. They had this like sauce they have to recreate. We went to shopping. We went shopping around. We went to the Webster, a few consignment stores. I was a good girl. I did not. I saw this brown Chanel bag that I wanted so bad. But the quad, like they were selling it for 3500 US, but it looked like someone had dragged it like behind them in a car, like across the pavement. Like it was not in good shape at all. But the style, like, I don't know why Chanel doesn't make bags like that anymore. I went to the Chanel store, it was so tacky. Like they had the ugliest colors, the ugliest pink. Chanel now looks so tacky and the vintage Chanel just looks so classic and beautiful. I don't understand what's going on. Anyways, um, we went to Frankie's shop. I picked up three things and while I was there, I saw, anyways, I'm going to explain it to you. So the first thing I got is this cropped little brown jacket. Can you tell that's brown? It's like in this wool, thick wool material. It has a lot of structure to it. I love the shape of it so much. I love how cropped it is. You can see it goes meets up right with my jeans what I like about it so much is that it has a double zip so I really like being able to unzip the bottom now I have a bodysuit under but I like wearing it as a top and you can kind of see my stomach or it's also just a really cute jacket it has a lot of structure to it but the best part it is is that it has a matching skirt in the store a mini skirt and it fits so nicely in the store they only had a medium but online they had a, one small left so while I was in there I was like ordering it to my house so that's gonna arrive soon and I'll show you guys the whole set this stunning little brown wool set is from Frankie shop I picked it up a few weeks ago and I've been dying to wear it. The fit of this skirt is absolute perfection. Of course, I had to check out their blazers, the blazers that they had, and I picked up my favorite blazer, the B blazer. These are really pricey blazers, but I wear them all the time. And when I saw that they had it in this like delicious chocolate brown, I have a brown blazer from them, but it's in a different style. And the shoulder pads make me look like Frankenstein. It's quite an alarming situation. So I'll show you guys it on. The B blazer, and I got this one normal. I have one in a medium, my black one. It's very oversized. I have one in a, a small, and this one is extra, extra small. And I think I like the way this one fits the best, but it's in the most perfect brown color. And it's just like the most perfect oversized blazer. You see how it just like, it goes down. It has a double vents in the back. It is the most perfect oversized blazer. So this is the extra extra small and I feel like this is the perfect size on me. They discontinued the Vogue blazer at Aritzia and why do they do this? Like why do they do this? I, the Vogue blazer is the best blazer. Everyone loved it. Why are you gonna, why are you gonna discontinue it? Because the Vogue blazer was exactly like this but like a third of the price, but it's so good. So now I have it in this color. I have it in this color, which is very similar, but obviously not the same. And then I also have it in a lighter color, which I don't know where it is at the moment. They're worth it. Trust me when I say they're worth it. Um, okay, then at Frankie's shop, I got a pair of these gloves, which kind of made me feel like a serial killer. I posted a picture of this one on Instagram, and I thought in the moment it was cute, but then I just, it gave serial killer vibes, like the like the random gloves like next to the coffee. Um, but they're brown leather. I think they're I don't know if they're real leather, and they have like fur on the inside. It was so freezing in New York City. I was not prepared for that. I had little black gloves, but gloves, but I needed something more. I just feel like leather gloves are like a very cool, like very chic thing to have. Apparently, like the new thing is to look like a mob wife, and I feel like mob wives would wear these. Although I don't really like go with what people are wearing. I go with what I like wearing. 
like when clean girl was in i never subscribed to that like i like looking <laughs> i feel like i subscribe more to mob wife than i do to clean girl i never got into that clean girl aesthetic okay so now onto what i got at bloomingdale's i've been on a hunt for the perfect pair of jeans and i have officially found them and i just like more relaxed jeans like not so skin tight i have all my goldie jeans are like really really tight and that's not my vibe right now so i got these jeans keep in mind i've been wearing them i've worn them like 10 times since i got them so they're a little bit loose and stretched out but they have a cross waist which is so flattering it's going to snatch your waist they're a dark wash the materials are really thin denim so they feel like sweatpants they're so comfy and then they go to the perfect length on me i feel like they're considered a crop but on me they're not a crop they're just the perfect length i got my usual size 25 normally in the crisscross i feel like i have to size down i got my usual 25 because i wanted a more oversized look and they are perfection i have the crisscross jeans from my goldie and i didn't love them so i kind of just like forgot about them but these they're so good and they're so comfy. I'll leave them linked down below. The thing with um, a Goldie jeans is they they don't look like the pictures outline. A gold on the a Goldie website it does not do it justice. Revolve somehow makes like the ugliest pair of jeans look stunning, and then you get them and you're like, that's not what I ordered. But these are what I'm truly the most excited about. This these are from the brand Aqua. I've never heard of that brand before. I don't know if it's like Bloomingdale's own brand, but their shoes were pretty affordable. These were 150 when I tell you. If you told me these were $1,200, I would believe you. So because I live in like the Arctic tundra, where it's literally negative 40 degrees, my shoe options are very limited in the winter time. And I have a pair of like black leather heeled booties, but they have like a thicker heel. They're comfortable. They're from L'Intervalle. I wear them all the time. But sometimes I just want like a sexy, a sexy foot. Like I want some outfits need a sexy foot. And... I find that a lot of the times, like, I don't have a shoe to wear, and I would end up wearing, like, my open, like, my pointy toe, like, Louboutins or something, which are not weather appropriate, because I just didn't have the right shoe. These solve the issue. These are the perfect booties to wear under a pair of pants. The ankle part is so slim, not too slim, where, like, it hurts, but it's, like, very sleek, and the heel is pretty high but not too high where they're impossible to walk in but what i like so much about this heel is that it goes straight down i'm so particular about this i hate when the heel like kind of goes in i like when it's straight down they had them in brown but they were sold out i bought the last pair in the store i think they were a size seven and a half i'm a size six i was like i don't care they're coming home with me but they actually do fit i could just wear a thicker sock and it actually fits perfectly these are the boots like are you joking me so then we went to sephora and i was exposed to so many brands i never even heard of one of them was danessa murix apparently this is popping off on tiktok thank god i have nikki because i never know what's popular what people are using and she always knows exactly what's like trending and this is the yummy skin serum skin tint recently i've been uh, like very into more skin tinty vibes and then i'll put concealer on and i just don't feel like i'll put a good amount of concealer on I guess and I just feel like it just lasts better throughout the day when I don't have a full coverage foundation and a full coverage concealer for every day I do like a skin tint this one is so good it lasts so nice all day I would do my makeup in the morning and I would not even have to touch it up at nighttime it just lasts really really well it makes it look dewy and luminous and just absolutely perfect I got the shade 5 so it gives me like a little bit of a tan it's just really really good speaking of skin tint I picked this up yesterday at Walmart the covergirl skin perfector essence it's supposed to be very similar to the chanel one with the little balls that everyone loves i used it today that's the foundation i have today it gives you very very minimal coverage like this doesn't give you a lot of coverage but it does give you some i feel like this gives you no coverage it just really kind of evens out your skin tone if you are a no makeup makeup girl if you want something that you could throw on maybe to even go to like the gym if that's what you're into um this would be very good but if I had to pick one out of the two, I'd probably go with this one because it does give you a little bit more of color, um, sorry, coverage. Then I also picked up this gloss, which has been sold. Oh wait, I, I showed you this in the vlog, right? Anyways, my updated review. I picked up this gloss in Sweet Mouth. I love it. Then we went to Sephora again. I got this lip liner from Makeup by Mario in the shade tan. I'm a sucker for a good lip liner and this one is so good. It's honestly the perfect nudie brownie pinky 
lip liner. I wore this yesterday and I swear it stayed all day. Like literally until I washed it off at nighttime. This is such a good lip liner and I love the lip brush and I love that you get a sharpener with everything that you buy. Like I have like 20 sharpeners now. Okay, and lastly, I got the Say Blush in the shade Baby. I am obsessed with this. The color is so pretty. It's honestly like a baby, baby pink, kind of like a cool toned pink. But this gives you the perfect like flushed pink look i realized on my skin i don't like those like orangey blushes i really prefer like a mauvey pink blush and this is so good there it's like a gel blush so it doesn't look too heavy it blends really nicely it's just 10 on 10. all right you guys so that is it for my new york vlog slash haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i apologize for being kind of the worst vlogger of all time and just forgetting about you i do apologize <laughs> Remember when I said I had a lot of vlog footage to, to edit and you guys were like, yeah, edit it, we'll watch it. Well, my SD card decided, with all my vlog footage, decided it wanted to snap in half. Like, how does this happen? That would literally only happen to me. I don't, I don't know. And so I don't have any of that footage, but honestly, I filmed that like a month and a half ago or a month ago, so at this point, it's probably irrelevant. Make <laughs> sure to subscribe, make sure to follow me on Instagram for a lot more frequent content. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.